Let's get this video started. So I'm going to be doing a quick video showing you guys how to put in and take out um, your tongue ring and also what I do to keep my tongue ring fresh and you know good hygiene and all that stuff like that without causing any infections or nothing like that. I personally has had my tongue ring in for a couple years. I got it when I was 17 and right now I am 22 years old. So I'm going to be showing you guys what piercings I got, how I take care of them and everything. So stay tuned. So basically I decided to go ahead and buy me all new tongue, uh, tongue rings because you know, like I said I don't like to wear the same ones over and over again. So I got these from Spencer's. I got this kind. This one comes with one dumbbell. The dumbbell is the, you know, the silver um, actual, you know, thing in the middle. And then the actual balls are at the end. So this one comes with a lot of different variety. It gives me about how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. About 16 different balls. So just switch them up and however I want to switch them up. So that allows me to wear that same exact dumbbell. The, you know, <laughs> they call it dumbbell because it looks like a dumbbell, don't it? Well, I call it a dumbbell at least. But it, it allows me to wear out all these different ones. And this only cost me $10. And I also bought this one as well as like a Jamaican one. Can you, I don't know, can you see it? You see the Jamaican sign? I mean, the, not, it has the Jamaican colors, but it also have, you know, the marijuana sign and stuff like that on it. So I have one in my mouth right now. I'm going to be showing you guys my tongue, obviously. So if I'm like, ew, whatever like that is, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's a tongue. Uh, but my tongue, I did burn my taste buds back when I was a little girl. So I have like the black dots on my tongue. And they've been there for like, I don't know, as far as I can even remember really. So yeah, but this is the one I have in my mouth right now. What I do to keep my mouth fresh when I have my tongue piercing in or even out, of course. But you know, definitely when it's in, since it is pierced. I do brush my teeth daily, try to do it at night too, so do it, try to do it twice a day. It's not always promised to do it twice a day, but try to brush my teeth daily. And also if you are trying to switch out your tongue piercings and stuff, it's good to have some, you know, Listerine laying around because you can be able to brush your teeth, you know, gargle your mouth with this. It also kind of helps to numb your mouth because sometimes when you're changing inside and, you know, in and out of the tongue uh, piercings, it can become kind of swollen and stuff. So. This also helps to kind of, you know, numb it a little bit and you know that your mouth is at least fresh and then afterwards you can, you know, gargle that again to make sure your mouth is clean and then you're just all done. So basically, like I said, these, I got these just recently. This was $10. This was $13 from Spencer's. What I do when I take my tongue rings out and like I'm trying to switch to a different one, I don't put it back into the same container. I put it into a Ziploc bag. So I can either, sometimes I choose to put them all into a Ziploc bag. What I do is clean them, put them inside the Ziploc bag. Okay guys, first things first, when you want to do it, like I said, you make sure you have your Listerine available. You make sure you brush your teeth first. First thing is brush your teeth. Then you gargle some Listerine. And then you're ready. But before you actually do all of that, the most important thing is to wash your hands. Right now I'm using this because I need to buy some uh, actual hand soap. But it's still it's shampoo, so it'll clean my hands. So I'm just going to clean my hands first. Take a little bit of the Listerine. What? Basically, I just rinsed my mouth out with the Listerine. So what I'm going to do is take it out. You basically have to twist. You can either twist the top one or the bottom one to take it out. If you have a little hard time, take it out definitely if your hands are slippery from the being clean and wet. What you can do is take a paper towel. You can, you know, either hold it together or you can break it apart, whatever you decide to do. And you hold one with the paper towel and the other one. You hold both paper towels like this and you put one at the bottom, one at the top to hold the, 
tongue ring and you can twist one side that way it'll keep it in place it will keep it there there that way you're not worried about you know constantly twisting it, it ain't even going nowhere So this is how I put it in, guys. Like I said, excuse my tongue. I know it's not the most attractive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's it. It's a very, very simple video. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you have a tongue piercing or not. And how do you actually clean it? Let me know if you guys like my, you know, my marijuana looking tongue ring as well. And thank you guys for watching.